beginning with what happens if health reform doesn't pass. First, of course, a whole lot of Democrats who have jobs in politics um, lose those jobs. Also, the American economy keels over and dies. A nonpartisan accounting agency, the Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services, was tasked with crunching the numbers for what we spend on health care. What they came up with is a kick in the teeth. Last year, health care spending grew more than it ever has since the government started keeping track of such things 50 years ago. It grew by $134 billion. And that's the way things have been going since 1960. Up, 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 and up, most dramatically now. In 1960, healthcare spending was a grand total of about 5% of our GDP. By 1970, it was up to about 7%. By 1980, 9% of all the dollars we spent went to healthcare. By 1990, it was up to 12%. By 2000, almost 14%. And by last year, our healthcare spending constituted more than 17% of our entire economic output as Americans. We now spend one out of every $6 in our entire economy on health care. In 10 years, it's projected to be one in five dollars, not one in six. One out of every five dollars we spend in our whole economy will be spent just on our own health care. And that's with not even covering everyone. Other industrialized countries cover everyone and have actual systems which control costs. The UK, for example, while not a perfect system, is a full nationalized health system that covers everyone. And for that, they spend seven percent of their GDP. We have no system, no way to control costs, and our health spending is 17% of our economy and growing. That's why reforming health care, having an actual American health care system with cost controls, is a fiscally responsible thing to do. Or, I think we could all agree, it's at least fiscally insane not to do it. Case in point. One California insurance company, Anthem Blue Cross, notified individual policyholders last week that their premiums would be going up by as much as 39% this year. That's on top of an increase of premiums last year of as much as 68%. Unlike home and car insurance, health insurance companies legally can jack up their rates whenever they want for as much as they want. But a rate increase this outrageous has attracted an investigation from the California Insurance Commissioner. Health and Human Services Secretary Kathleen Sebelius has also sent a letter to Anthem Blue Cross asking them to justify the hikes. The company says it will respond once it receives the secretary's letter. Our calls to the company today were not returned. Perhaps they anticipated our planned questions about the timing of the rate hike. Anthem Blue Cross announced this second consecutive double-digit rate hike right after announcing an eight-fold increase in profit last quarter. We eagerly await whatever conceivable explanation they can come up with for this. We also eagerly await health reform.